the basic fundamentals of leash breaking. And when I say leash breaking, I mean this dog has never been on a leash in her life. This dog's four years old. She came from a hoarding facility and she lived with like 50 other puppies and she never had a collar on. So she's never had any basic obedience. And by this age, she should have already been taught to walk on a leash. She'd never had a leash or a collar on. So today is gonna to be a big introduction to teaching her how to walk on a leash. So typically when I teach a dog to heal, the dog has already had several months of being on a leash. They just never learned how to walk with control. This dog's a little bit different. She's never been on a leash before. So today I'm gonna to expose her to the basic fundamentals of leash breaking. And we're gonna start with a technique known as leash drags. So the first step in the process is the leash drags. So all I'm gonna do is connect a leash to her harness and that's it, I'm gonna let her drag it around. You'd make a fatal mistake if you just put a leash on a dog that's never had a leash on him and try to get him walking. Guaranteed they're gonna have a lot of resistance, they're gonna start pulling and walking each every direction except the direction you wanna go. So right now my goal is to let her drag this leash around and get her used to it for a few days before I continue on to the heel command. I'm gonna simply have a treat in my hand. Come on, come on, come here. There you go. And let her, oh, I know, I know, she's slow. And let her drag that leash around. Good girl, good, okay, come on. Just like that, she's gonna drag that leash and she's gonna feel there's something there. Come on, Autumn, come here, sweetie, there you go. Now we're getting into second gear. Good, perfect. And I'm gonna use a little more energy here because she's kinda slow. Okay, come on, Autumn, come here. There you go, good, perfect. And this is a very simple game we're playing. All she has to do is come to me and she's going to drag that leash around. Come on, sweetie. Come on, Autumn, there you go, good. Perfect. This stage is gonna be very repetitive, very monotonous, but it's very necessary for dogs that have not been on leashes. This is a great training exercise for puppies because puppies obviously need to go through something like this before they're taught a heel command. Good, perfect. Most importantly, I'm gonna take my time with her because again, she came from a little bit of a different situation than most dogs. There you go, good. And I don't want to rush her because this whole contraption on her right now, harness, leash, it's all new to her. So I gotta take my time with a dog like this. She got a very late start in life. Come on, sweetie, there you go. Good, perfect, nice, come on. Come on, all the way, all the way, all the way, go! Notice I'm rewarding her every time she comes because I want to make sure she understands that every time I call her name, she runs to me. We're not doing that exercise related to the recall command, but I wanted to make sure that she has a positive experience every time she comes to me because the whole point is understanding that she has something connected to her and it is now dragging behind her. And this little contraption comes with a little bit of resistance, which is the next part of the exercise. Now, she's got the basic fundamentals of the leash drags. This is where things get very interesting. I'm gonna use this little contraption right here known as the lure stick. These are great training tools for basic obedience. There's a link down below. Go ahead and click it and check it out. The lure stick is a very simple tool where I can put a treat inside and extend it out. And now I'm going to pick up the leash. I'm not gonna put any pressure though. It's very important I don't put pressure on the leash. If she feels any pressure, she's going to resist heavily and she's gonna fight me on it. I don't want that. So, all I'm gonna do is show her a treat in the lure stick. She has to notice it. Oh, look at that, oh, look at that. Just like that, I'm gonna get her used to the lure stick just for a second here. And all I'm gonna do, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on, there you go, good. And she gets a treat in the lure stick. Now it's very careful what I'm gonna do here. I'm not gonna put much resistance on the leash, but I'm gonna put just a touch, okay? When I mean a touch, I'm talking five to 10%. So I'm gonna show her the treat in the lure stick. Hey, sweetie, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. And a little tiny bit of resistance every once in a while, letting her know that, that leash comes with a touch of resistance. Go on, and she gets the treat out of the lure stick. So once again, I'm gonna show her the lure stick. Good, come on, sweetie, come on. And I'm holding the leash now. And every once in a while, a little tug, not too much. There you go, good. And I'm gonna give her the treat from the lure. She doesn't even understand the lure stick yet. Oh, good girl. And come on, Autumn, there you go. Good, 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 perfect, nice. See, now she's starting to understand the lure. And every time she looks at it, she gets a treat. 
And once again, show her the lure stick, show her the treat. And I'm holding the leash. Little to no resistance every once in a while. I'm just gonna give the leash a little pull. Nothing to throw her off guard, but then she starts to understand that leash comes with a touch of resistance. And that is the whole point of this part of the exercise is teaching resistance. It's very important your dog starts to understand that. Good, there you go. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect. And there you go. Good, good, nice. Now what I'm gonna start doing here is she starts to understand the whole game of the lure stick. She understands the theory of the drag leash. So now, instead of her coming at me, she's going to walk with me. By doing that, all I'm gonna do is hold the leash by my side like this. And I'm gonna hold the lure stick like this. There you go, good, good. Now she's walking alongside of me. Good, there you go, good. And you can have the treat after a few steps. So once again, show her the treat. And I'm gonna start walking. There you go, good, 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 perfect, perfect, good. And give her the treat. Nice. And same thing. There you go, good, good, perfect, perfect. Now you see she's walking with me. Good, perfect, beautiful. And that is how it is done. So now we got a little rhythm going. So once again, show her the treat, there you go. And she's gonna start walking with me and she's gonna turn with me, good. And if she slows down, I'm gonna simply get the treat closer. There you go, good, good, good. Heavy praise, there you go, nice. Always keep the praising up and the energy up if they start hitting the brakes on you. So once again, treat just a few inches away from her snout. She's gonna walk with me. There you go, good, good, perfect, perfect, perfect. As she's walking, I'm gonna give her the treat. And, okay, there you go, good, good, perfect, perfect, good, good, good. And we're gonna turn. And so again, if she hits the brakes, which she's not right now, so perfect, good, good, good. I'm gonna praise, 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 and good. Give her a reward. Nice. Beautiful. She's actually progressing faster than I thought. Most dogs uh, that I'd be doing this with though are puppies at a very young age, eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, because they're not ready for a formal heel until they hit about four or five months. So she is about four years old. So this is stuff she should have learned a long time ago. And they always say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Sure you can, you just can't teach them as fast. She's getting a late start in life as far as uh, her schooling, but it's never too late to start. She's just learning a little later than most dogs would learn this technique. So once again, I'm just gonna take my time with her. So I'm just gonna start walking. There you go, good, good. I'm gonna praise as she's walking. Good girl. That's all I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for the basic fundamentals. Again, I'm not gonna get a full heel command out of this dog today. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for her to have her initial breakthrough of walking on the leash, hence the word leash breaking. We're just having our basic breakthrough. There you go, good, good, perfect. And I'm letting her know that as she walks with me, good, that's when she gets the treat, just like that. There you go, good, good, and we're gonna do a clockwise turn, good. And assuming she's walking nice and smooth and steady with me, good, she gets the treat, beautiful. And same thing, same thing, there you go, good, good. Again, I'm gonna praise her as she's doing well, perfect, good, good, perfect. Good, nice, beautiful. And I'm gonna give it to her. And what I'm looking for here is every time that I reward her with a treat, I'm looking for longer distance. So as you can see, at first we started with just a few feet and then a few more feet. And now we're going about 15, 20 steps. So now I'm gonna try to do a full rotation of the yard. And we're gonna turn, good. And nice and smooth. Perfect, there you go. I'm gonna praise her high energy. Good, good, there you go. Beautiful, perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, nice. That was perfect. And same thing, we're gonna do a whole run of the yard. There you go, good, perfect. I'm gonna keep the energy up. Perfect, good, good, perfect, beautiful, nice. There you go, perfect, perfect. And we're gonna turn, nice and smooth. There you go, good, perfect, good, nice. Look at you, perfect, perfect, good, good. Come on, there you go, almost there, almost there, good. So that does it for today's session. Now, as many of you know, my simple method is technique and conditioning. Today we taught her the technique. Over the next few weeks, I'll be conditioning her. This means I'll repeat it over and over, muscle memory until it's locked into her vocabulary forever. Right now, this is the basic fundamentals of the technique. 
So today, all we did was leash braking. As time goes on and she's more conditioned, I will then teach her the heel command. 